Well, here we are on the lake bed at King of the Hammers, and we're actually uh, backstage with Brother Al himself. What is your uh, job down here at King of the Hammers? I am the music director for Hammer King Productions. Who's going to play tonight? Uh, we have Sublime with Rome, oh. with special guest Duddy, uh, Jared and Duddy from Dirty Heads. You're into music. You're into music uh, um, promoting, right? But first and foremost, you're into wheeling, right? Absolutely. And you're a NorCal guy. This Jeep has been a work in progress. Now it's at a new stage, and I think it's definitely worthy of uh, taking a look at it. Well, thank you, Trevor. She is a 1981 Scrambler that was originally just a Bob Scrambler with leaf springs. Um, I bought it from Matt Kinney with no motor and trans. Um, so I started, I went completely backwards on this one. I bought the motor first. I uh, bought that. Uh, it's an LS6 out of a 2004 Z06 Corvette. Can we, can we pop the yes, zip ties can. and open it? Yes, we can. Full hood, right? right? I tried to, you know, I just really wanted to keep it as CJ-ish as possible. So what's this engine? So this is a, uh, it's an LS6 out of an 04 Z06 that I bought. Um, I sent it out to LS Garage in Sacramento and Jordy put a six liter cast block in it. So it basically has a, a LQ9 block. So it's on no it. longer an aluminum block. No, but, that, uh, I, I, nope. It's, an, so it's basically an LS6 with a six liter cast block. Car intake, car, car accessory yeah, so drive. It's all, it's all Corvette. And then, um, you know, she's a mild 450 on the dyno. And this and, is yeah. this is something, uh, you're running electric fan. Correct. And you've literally moved the radiator all the way up to the front to this tube. Notice this, check this out. The grill is just uh, a piece of sheet metal basically attached to the tube. Uh, and then the radiator all the way up front. Um, everything packages in here really nice. You got a dual diaphragm vacuum booster for your brakes. Yeah. Got the old Corvette disc disc master cylinder yep. that everybody uses. Yep. PSC hydro assist. Um, this is the Gen 3 LS computer mounted Cor here. Correct. Cor um, so pretty simple stuff. Yep. Uh, off to a battery, you got a lot of wiring going on now. Right, so that is, uh, it's on the on the punch list. On the punch list is cleaning up the wiring That's a little it. bit. I mean, you it know. looks like it's all there doing what it's supposed to do. Right, but you know, like bezels and flooring, but she's, when, she's when you close, have what, she's close. When you have what we call a rolling restoration, you just keep on adding more things right. and more things, more things, you piggyback. So at the very end of the project, a lot of times you gotta go back, get like a Switch Pro, an S-Pod and just kind of revamp exactly, the electrical. Exactly. Looking at the front of this thing, um, looks like the frame's been chopped right about the, uh, at the A-pillar right here. So, chop the frame and tube the front. Did you do that or was it already done? I did it. You did that, I okay. As a matter of fact, Trevor, you posted on the WFO Instagram of me with the metal saw hacking Chopping it your frame Chopping, off. Remember that? That was when you were getting rid of your lease Yeah, frames, that was three right? years ago. Um, dual triangulated forelink in the front, which isn't common on a CJ. See those upper links way in there? And uh, you have our uh, WFO truss for the Kingpin 60 front, right? Yes, and all bracketry. So this is the 80 through 91 Kingpin 60 front. Correct. And uh, you're running coilovers and bypasses, right? Yes. So I'm looking at this, looks like a 2.0 Fox coilover, but that's a 3.0 bypass. Correct. So uh, is that Fox as well, or who's that's Fox? That? Damn, so this thing's all sex, huh? It really is. Front sway bar, uh, double-ended ram on the PSC, so full hydraulic. Uh, the nose is kind of really shortened up and tucked yep. in. Yeah, for my For, for good approach angle, yep. yeah. Custom Customs uh, built the rig for me. He did all the welding on it. Uh, I, I was always there with him. I've done most of the fabrication and bolt-on and assisting, and but he's weld, every weld on this thing is uh, Carlos at Custom Customs Pollock Pines. And he, he'll come over and uh, pick up a bunch of parts. He picked up a bunch on this. Yep. We, we BS'd a, a, a lot about yeah. how he was gonna set it up yep. um, with the with the forelink in the front and when you did the rear. This was a scrambler, but it was a Bob scrambler, yeah, right? Yeah, so it was a Bob scrambler. And it was pretty short, right? It was, it was Bob scrambler. It was like, one, it was 108 or something like that. Which um, is still nice. Yeah, it was nice, yes. Um, and so on this last go around, you took out the rear leaf springs. Correct. The rear frame we, we, section. We cut it right so here. So you chopped it right here, basically after the body mount, cut it off and uh, right here, tubed the back. So. What were you trying to accomplish here? Uh, wheelbase. Wheelbase, yeah. Yep, wheelbase and packaging. I wanted, 
I still, it's still a trail rig, so I'm, I have an ARB Zero that's going here. We got to build that. I got flooring to do. So this is still work in progress, yes, but you're yes. going to get a, a yeah, we're gonna do fridge it. here, yeah. all tools, all storage, all possibly storage. a third seat, but maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I'm shining away at this point from that. Yep. So you went from 106 to 119. Yes. Some people would say like 113 yeah. is the honey number. Yeah. But so 115, everybody's like, don't go, you know, I just said 119 I, is I, it. I, I just went, I went all in, yep. pushed all the chips in. Yep. And I love every minute of it. So interior here, PRP seats. Um, you got a B&M shifter. That's kind of classic. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. And uh, Turbo 400, right? Tur uh, no, it's a Turbo 350. Oh, Turbo 350. Uh, it's, it's a fresh, fresh rebuilt Turbo 350. And to an Atlas. Yep, yep. And it's actually a 4.3 Atlas, four, too. Once again, driver drop because you have the Ford Kingpin front 60, so that's yes. driver's side drop exactly. yep. and high pinion. Dash is still kind of classic CJ. You got the uh, yep. factory uh, chrome glove box with the WFO right. sticker I still, there. I was fighting to keep as much CJ left on the thing. You know, is that a CJ tilt column still? It's this is actually a GM. A GM. Uh, we got junkyard a, just a junk, junk, junkyard. I wanted the. Yeah. I'm gonna be getting rid of it and going with the um, probably a PSC or something eventually. So, so it's 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 you know tubing's well in here, comfortable, good seats. Yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. It's I went for some safety on it. Yeah. So myself. running around to the back and I'm noticing that. Uh, you're still five lug, right? Yes. So 60 yep. in the front, five lugs. So you did the five, five on five and a half conversion to yep. the four and 60. And then in the rear, this last upgrade, you got rid of the nine inch that kept on breaking, yes. right? Yep. And you went to a 14 bolt, but you did the solid axle industries, uh, five bolt conversion yes. for the 14 yes, yeah. bolt. I know That's Alan uh, yes. helped you get yep. those parts over at the shop. You and yeah, Lowe, you guys so are great. Yeah. Tell us about the rims. Yeah, those are, uh, those are forged methods. Um, these rims have a nice little story because they're Jason's Back in they uh, came off Jason, Jason Shearer's race car. In 2017, yeah. uh, and I'm still running some tire ball nittos. Those got tire they, balls they, in they them? They just will not go away. That's awesome. I, I just, they won't go away. Yeah. So, yeah. So in the rear, um, dual triangulated four link. This is what Los just got finished doing. Yeah, we just what finished. What size coilovers overs you got? Those are just two, two fives. Two five two Fox coilovers, and, and those are red with res reservoirs. Are they 12s? They're 12s, yeah. Yep. We're just a 12. So right back here, this is just classic and easy, right? Yep. So you yep. got our truss, um, disc brakes, coilovers go right to the top of the axle, air bumps, and then as you can see here, this is our uh, our upper bat wing, and you got dual triangulated uppers, and you have uh, seven eighths upper heim joints, and yes. then inch and a quarter yep. lowers, yep. yep. Um, and the lowers just go to the bottom of the frame. It's like. Right. Classic, simple, easy. Simple once you guys got yeah, the, was, once you had the tube work done. Yeah, I just wanted simple. Tell us about this. So, so this is a 1957 CJ5 tailgate, and me being, the, it, you know, oh, it comes it, down too. Yeah. Works. So she, this will, well, this is my, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my kitchen. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah. So I got that. That guy was really important to me to have the, the OG. So it's kind of a mix match, right? It's a. It's an AMC Jeep with Kaiser tailgate with all these new school parts. It's a yep. mixed match deal. Yep. You know, I'm running the Moto built 316th. You know, uh, one of the things I really like is here's the skin. And if you look right here, you got some tube that just kicks out and holds the skin. Who right. came up with that idea? That's Carlos. Los yeah. came yeah, up with Los that? Los came up with that. I love that. So, yeah. and then he, you know, he, he really did a good job on the fabrication in the shock for, mounts. for yep. rigidity and How strength. How much fuel do you have back here? 22 gallons. 22 gallons, yeah. yep. Yep, enough to get back and forth through Rubicon, you know. Yep, and I see you got your uh, Mountain Vibe. That That's your, uh, yeah, your so big show you Mount, put on yeah, every year, Mountain right? Vibe music Festival. You yeah. put on that music festival yeah. every year yep. and, and registered. Uh, yeah, that's a beauty. 2024, and it, love and it's, it. And it's, she actually has liability insurance. Can't believe we live 40 minutes away and I had to drive nine hours to, to I know, look at the right. Jeep, but you did yeah. just finish it up yeah. you know, a week ago, right? Yeah, when she's real, so like completely 100% done, we'll come, come to the shop and say hi, you know? It's Absolutely. Good. And well, I still have some WFO stuff to throw on. All you up. scrambler guys and CJs looking for that long wheelbase and link front and rear, you know, here's uh, here's one to look at. There's a lot to learn on this rig. Yeah. And uh, just classic three link, four link, stiffen up the frame, make sure that all the tubes tie into the chassis. That's the, that's the failure point on my scrambler that yeah. The, the roll cage isn't tied into the chassis as good as it yeah. should be. So yeah. I'm taking some uh, notes here from, from you guys and from Los on this one. So yeah. thank you for having us come over. And yeah, uh, yeah for you sure, know, buddy. Can I, can I hang out backstage with Sublime? Yeah, you got a laminate, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> VIP from Brother Al. Yeah. See you guys.